In this tutorial you are going to learn how you can use multiple cell shading styles in one scene using SRS. By default SRS limits you to one cell shading style at the same time, which means that you cannot have two different objects visible at the same time with different highlight colors for example. But with slight modifications this is possible. To demonstrate this I am in the demo map of SRS and I am going to duplicate this object right here. And I want this to have a different highlight color than all the other objects right here. In order to do that, I'm going to navigate to Content, Stylized Rendering System, Materials, and Private. And here I'm going to duplicate this master cell shader material. We'll leave the name as is and let's open this. And now here let's change the blendable priority to 1. Hit Apply. Let's quickly create an instance for this material. And now in order to make it possible to have multiple cell shading styles, we're simply going to use another SRS actor. So let's duplicate this actor by holding Alt and dragging to the side. And here, we're going to go to the Generals tab. And down here, at the bottom, you'll find this arrow. On UE5, there should be a text called Advanced right here. And you can just expand it and you'll find these options. And at the bottom you see this cell shader material. For the second SRS actor, we're going to switch this out for the newly created material right here. Let's drag this into here. And now we're almost done. Now all we need to do to finish this is simply make it so the first SRS actor only affects objects which have a stencil mask value between 0 and 127 and the second actor only affects objects which have a stencil mask value 128 and greater. So to do this go to your first actor and under these advanced settings set the stencil mask max value to 127 and for our second actor set the stencil mask min value to 128. Now Let's set the stencil mask value for our um, new object right here to 128. Now this object is the only object in the scene that is controlled by the second SRS actor. And now all modifications we make in this SRS actor will only affect this object right here. So now let's change the highlight color to something maybe a bit purplish and make it way brighter. And you can see that this object is the only one that's been changed. One thing I recommend doing now is go to the second SRS actor and set it to cell shader only. This simply prevents outlines from being applied twice as the stencil mask filter we customized just now only affects the cell shader and not the outliner. So disabling outlines for the second actor prevents any problems with outlines being applied twice. In theory you could do this up to 256 times to get as many cell shading styles. But the problem is that each new SRS actor will take a toll on your performance. Meaning that if you have two SRS actors instead of one, the Im performance impact will be doubled. And if you use even more, the performance impact will be even greater. This is why you should only use this method sparingly. Now one thing you can do to improve performance while also using this is limiting the bounds of your second SRS actor to only those areas where your second cell shading style can be seen.